everyone, my name is Stephanie Nantel. We've come up with seven helpful tips to keep your students from experiencing the summer slide. Tip number one is to limit tech time. So things you should consider when setting limits is how are your children using their devices? Is it purely for entertainment, watching videos, or are they doing learning activities like maybe reading, journaling, um, doing learning apps? Uh, another important thing to think about is maybe using an app that can monitor their time and shut down the device. So that ends any arguments when they've used up their tech time for the day. So remember, tip number one, limit tech time to reasonable amounts. Hey parents, here we are with tip number two, just keep reading. For another fun way to avoid summer boredom, pick a book that your entire family can read and try scheduling a time when you can all meet to talk about it. You can even start a family book club. Make it a fun party with a theme based on the book you're reading. Some great resources for summer reading can be found on the website Growing Book by Book, which has book lists, activities, and even meal ideas for themed family book club dinners. Yum! Another great resource can be found just around the corner at your local New York Public Library. Hi parents, we're here with tip number three, Explore NYC. We've got great staycation ideas for you and your kids to stay active this summer. So a few of our favorites are go to the beach and collect seashells and then take it home and do an arts and craft project. Picnic with your family. Zoo. Adventure Sunday series where there's rope uh, zip lining and rope courses. Uh, don't forget about the free movie series. There's even a Disney lineup. Bryant Park has many activities including puppet shows and don't forget about Coney Island. So whatever you choose to do, have a great summer. Hi, this is Thane with Education Through Music. Here's our next tip to avoid the summer slide. There are so many different attractions to do here in New York City in the summer, from museums to the zoo, to parks, to special events that are all free. Well, at least some of them are free. So I suggest you get out there, look things up, and enjoy the summer. Hey parents and families, this is Kevin here at ETM with tip number five. Encourage the social emotional growth of your child by helping them make a new friend. Create opportunities for them to regularly interact with peers. You can do this by taking them to the park or playground or even then enrolling them in a summer camp. For instance, the YMCA offers camps in all five boroughs and some programs in upstate New York for different durations and dates. Help your child form new bonds with children from all over the region and make memories over the summer that can last a lifetime. Sign them up for a summer program and get them out of the house. And who knows, maybe you'll end up with a bit of free time yourself. Tip number six, do the math. Research shows that summer learning loss has many students arrive back at school every fall worse than they were in the spring. It can be tough to imagine fitting math into sun, summer fun days, but there are easy ways to incorporate math into everyday activities. Increase awareness of numbers around the house by having your child read the time, help plan the family calendar, or help plan activities by reading movie times or weather forecasts. Play games like Yahtzee or Monopoly. Bake something together. Do math at the supermarket. If apple juice is $2.50, how much would it be if we buy three? Estimate how many apples will fit into the fruit bowl at home. Practice making patterns with toys or in the park. At night, incorporate some math into your bedtime stories, such as Pete the Cat and his Buttons, or with Bedtime Math, a free app that offers bedtime math stories in English and in Spanish. However you find math in your everyday surroundings, enjoy the summer. Hey everybody, our last tip to avoid the summer slide is make some music. Students, listen up, this is just for you. If you're a student who's completed the fifth through eighth grade at an ETM partner school, you are invited to a free summer music academy at MS 180 in the Bronx. If you wanna know more about this free program, you can check us out online at etmonline.org. Have a great summer.